Hi, I'm Rushad Eggleston, and this is my cello, El Cello Cabra del Norfor Bilones, better known as a cello-shaped spaceship, which I use to take people on some pretty wild journeys. <laughs> What happened is my parents named me Rushad, R-U-S-H-A-D, which means joyful soul. That makes my mission on earth to spread joy through music and language and fun. <laughs> Muffy ride, tie up up and into a fuffling up guinea, sprinkling in to of these part a mortal, deadling rolls, up a shit, go for shot to pause, where me are Patrick of Wayne, no parade, shing in a second, we're gonna see the My fire is fueled by many things now, and what it's always been fueled by very significantly is, well, nature. Even thinking about animals gets me excited, for one. Like little animals running around, like furry little things. They're so cute and they're just like full of life and they're so passionate, you know? I mean, passionate is a weird thing. You don't normally think of a squirrel and say like, that's an example of passion right there. But you just look at it, ping, ping, ping. You know, that is passion right there and that is inspiring. Welcome to the Eternal Rabbit Society. We hold our meetings on every other Saturday And we talk about rabbits We talk about rabbits We talk about raps, oh babs, oh no naps, oh naps, oh nabbits We talk about raps, oh babs, oh no naps, oh naps, oh nabbits We talk about rabbits, oh nab, chalab, chalippy lab, no labbits What we talk about? We talk about We talk about rabbits <laughs> Now, if you want to join the ERS, we don't need your money, no fancy dress. All you have to do is go like this. Pause. You put your hands in a rabbit pose. A member's just someone who shows someone else how to do this nifty pose. And you're in, you're in the club. Yeah, nub up to love, you're in the club. Well, some people ask what's meaningful about the shows that I put on. And I ask myself that a lot especially in times of questioning. You can see the light bulbs going off in the heads of children and other people who have not completely lost contact with their imagination. I told you, you would find out tonight about things that are thinking and feeling that you didn't think were thinking and feeling. Things like bass tones. You do that enough, they become alive. You enter a slightly different state of consciousness. It's not just regular walking down the street, shall I take a left, oh, should I avoid stepping in that pile of whatever it is, or, you know, am I, am I cold, do I need to put on a jacket, where's my cat, these common concerns of mankind and womankind. And then also, I like to tell people that I'm going to distract them from the from the itch of life, this itch to constantly survive and to be entertained and all this. And I'm like, hey, I'm just going to distract you from this so you forget about having an itch. Because to me, the kinds of experiences that I'm after in life, the truly great experiences, are ones where I forget about all my troubles or problems and time disappears also. But the show then is just an extension of life and just an extension of who I am. That's really the goal. Isn't it strange that we live in a world where rabbits exist? 
If you told me about rabbits in the afterlife, I could not resist being born again. <laughs> Just to see rabbits again. <laughs> I like it when people are encouraging me to go all the way and get as out there as possible. And certain audiences are really going to be down for the journey. Bad, creamy, crinkly beaver badger made of coral on the concrete near the sad, porous wood. Another insignificance in a world where most things will never be celebrated. Poor dumpy sea badger. It will never be on TV until they make reality shows about inanimate objects. Although, one man's frozen pose is another man's, I get wild when you're not looking. I also like to make people smarter in shows by just opening their mind and maybe some new ideas. Even if the new ideas are mythical words that they've never heard, I just love the idea that, they, that somebody could come to a show of mine and they could go away having heard some, thing, heard some words that they never heard and thought some thoughts that they never have thought and maybe felt some feelings that they never have felt or could not otherwise have felt besides coming here. We talk about rap so babs and abs and abs so nabbits. We talk about rap so babs and abs and You're like, when's he gonna stop? I know. What do we talk about? Rabbits. What? Rabbits. 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 Very good. We have a lot of fans in the audience. Thank you very much for coming. You guys can stand up because it's time to go. And I don't want to mess Why don't I just give you a little bit of my history and a little bit of my philosophy, just real quick. I started out playing classical cello. Once it got to be more like... I quit. I was out of there because I had discovered bluegrass. Play folk music in a more natural style. Relaxed. I changed the bow hold from like this to like this. And I changed my hand position from being like this to like that one. And then the folk world was a little bit too constricting for a guy like me. So I thought that the only other alternative was rock and roll. So then I sang songs like... <laughs> But even that was too constricting for what I was really trying to do, which is basically just be myself and express what I have to offer, which is kind of a mixture of all of those things. The last thing an artist wants to do is put a label on itself. It's like a goat putting itself in a pen. And what smart goat would do that? <laughs> like fun with an attitude. Let me just get the flow. Next question. <laughs>